There is shock and outrage tonight after a lifeguard saved a man who was drowning because instead of being hailed a hero, his bosses instead fired him. Here's Matt Gutman. When duty called, Tommy Lopez sprinted. I had a guest coming to me, someone drowning, someone drowning. I'm looking like I don't see anyone. He's like, they're way down over there, they're way down over there. So I just started running. Darting past hordes of beachgoers Monday to save a drowning man. I was worried about the guy himself, not anything else, because he was blue when they got him. Instead of being rewarded, he was fired. You see, the 21-year-old knowingly violated a rule that prevents guards from this privately run lifeguard company from leaving their station to help a swimmer in distress. I just went over and did what I had to do. Because someone's life was at stake. Tommy's guard station is about 100 yards that way down the beach. Now, beyond this sign, he's not allowed to go, but the person who was drowning was over there. A spokesperson for lifeguard contractor Jeff Ellis Management said, we have liability issues and can't go out of the protected area. Suddenly, the rule that got Tommy fired launched a mutiny. So let me get this straight. All of you basically resigned or were fired because of Tommy, like because that. of this decision. Yes. Tommy's fellow lifeguards leaving en masse, seven of them, in disgust. What we're basically supposed to do is just watch them die, technically. Just then, we came across Brian Ritchie, who walked off this guard tower to turn in his whistle and the shirt off his back. Brian. Did you just quit? I did just quit. How'd it go? It was rough. I'm glad that I can uh, separate myself from this. I knew if the, uh, the incident ever came up, I would go. They'd made a pact, choosing to save lives instead of their jobs. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Hallandale Beach, Florida.